today I am going to be inking this bonus page for my webcomic, 7-Inch Kara, which you guys can check out at 7inchkara.com or 7inchkara.com. I've already gone ahead and printed out my blue lines on the inexpensive 300 series Strathmore Bristol. And I went ahead and tightened it up a bit with pencils and applied my borders using a technique that I have covered on this channel. And you can check out the card right here to find out how I do the borders. So today I am going to be inking this in time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, so this page has been inked. I'm going to let it cure overnight. Then I'm going to erase the graphite and make corrections using Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is a fresh new morning and I am going to go ahead, erase my graphite and make corrections on those elbows there because they really bug me. All right, that's just about done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some PH Martin's Bleed Proof White with a little bit of water and a synthetic brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my corrections. And fortunately, with this page, there weren't aren't too many gonna tighten up those corners a little bit. And other than that, and right here, which I wanna get in with a Signo, if I have one. And it seems that I do not, it's unfortunate. Oh well. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. And I think I'm just about done with the page. I do have some little splatters that came from my printer. I guess I can try to cover those up. So I'll see you guys again when I have the next page ready to work on. Hey guys, so I've got another couple of comic pages here ready for inking. So I thought I would do a little bit of time-lapse inking tonight. Earlier in the day, I did a water and marker fastness test for this zebra pen here. This was recommended to me by Heidi Black. She said that um, she liked it better than the Sailor Mitzel Ida and used it in the same way that I used the Mitzel Ida and that she uses it with alcohol markers and with water. I found that it was fairly stable. And then I also have the Sailor Rio Fuca. This is to kind of take the place of the Sailor Mitzel Ida. It's the newer version. And I actually have a field test where I use this with alcohol marker on top of it that you guys can check out by clicking that cart here. And this one fared a little bit better. And I've also got my Old Faithful, the Sakura of America Pigma. This is a BB, but I want a Pigma FB, so I'm gonna have to go grab one of those. But I'm going to use those to ink these two illustrations. <laughs>
All right, so that is one of the two pages I wanted to get ink tonight. I'm going to allow this to dry overnight, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my corrections. And here is the second illustration that I want to get ink tonight. And I'm going to be using the same tools on this as I used on that other page. So this has been inked. I think I want to marker this, not for what I'm using it for, but just because it turned out fairly cute. There are some small mistakes, but I don't really have a lot of marker Kara illustrations. Most of them are watercolor. So I think I will end up watercoloring this later on. Or, I'm sorry, markering this later on, which means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do my correction digitally on this. So tomorrow, I will see you guys. We're going to do some erasing. We're going to do some corrections on this comic. And we're going to just leave this one as it is for the time being. Hey guys, so I've made a little bit of progress with my bonus comic and I have another page to ink in time lapse for you. Again, I will be using waterproof, Copic proof inks mostly for convenience. And you know, sometimes it's nice to be able to go back and color things way later down the pipe. I am using a Sailor Rio Fuca because my Sailor Mitsuo Ida's have all died out. And I believe I can share a link on where you can get these in the description below. And I've also got a Sakura Pigma FB. This one might be kind of dying, so I might have to replace it halfway through. Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy. <laughs>
Hey guys, I have got another, another bonus comic page here. I am going to ink it and well, pencil it first and then ink it in time lapse for you guys this today, this evening, this span of time. I hope you guys enjoy.
I finally got a small batch of one, two, three, four, five pages inked. I'm just going to go ahead and do erasing and corrections for all of these pages all at one time. Then I can start on the next batch. This has given me a chance to kind of rest my eyes, to not be oversaturated. So hopefully, rather than nitpicking things that don't necessarily need to be corrected, I can actually focus on correcting the things that really do matter. And I am using a really soft eraser. I have found that the white stroke erasers made by Creative Mark and sold through Jerry's Artorama are really good, even better than uh, mono erasers, which were my original go-to for erasing without ghosting or tearing up my inks. And they also do a really good job of sort of self-collecting the eraser shaving. So even though I will need to go back over this with an eraser brush or a, a drafting brush, it's not nearly as much as I would need to do in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase the graphite from all of these pages and then work on corrections. All right, graphite has been erased away. We are going to be using Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, a white signal, a cup of clean water, and a sable brush. This is one of my inking brushes, in fact, so I gotta clean it out really good afterwards in order to do corrections. And it's pretty straightforward, so even though I'm going to zoom you in and have you on time lapse. I'm not going to bother to explain because I'm not doing any fancy techniques or any sort of interesting tricks, just fixing problems. So these pages have been physically corrected. Some additions have been made. Could always go back in and tighten up the grass over here a little bit. But my next step is to scan these, letter them in Photoshop, and then get them ready to put up on my site. These are the bonus comics for uh, my comic, 7-Inch Kara, which you guys can check out at 7inchkara.com or 7inchkara.tumblr.com. And these are just sort of to celebrate the completion of Volume 1 uh, being uploaded on the website. You can order a copy through my shop, which you can find at 7inchkara.com. Or you can click the link below. But these are just sort of like nice little webcomic bonuses since uh, I'm 
nearing my one year launch anniversary. I've been doing comics for a long time, but not necessarily comics for web. So this has been an interesting learning experience for me. And I wanted to do a little bonus Q&A to sort of commemorate that and have something special for the people who've been following the comic on the website. So I have another batch to do and then it will be ready to go live.
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I inked these bonus 7-inch Kara comic pages. They are live on the webcomic right now, 7inchkara.com and 7inchkara.tumblr.com. In fact, they may even be in the archive. So if you want to see how they turned out when fully completed, please head over to one of those two sources and check it out. As always, it was a pleasure. And I hope this weird sort of combination of demonstration, tutorial, and time lapse was helpful and inspiring to some of you guys. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. So have a great day, guys, and check out the rest of my tutorials in my Intro to Comic Craft series. Bye!